Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia, the professor. If this is your first time here or you are not a subscriber, hopefully you will enjoy the contents of this video and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, well, thank you for the support and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to customize the trending mom life of file. And you can find this as an SVG or PNG. I'm going to show you both ways. Um, but this is something that's trending and a lot of people like to change out the headband and the glasses or if it's the one with the two puffs, they'll change out the bows and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to customize this. Gonna go over here. So this is the one that's already finished. Depending on which version of Silhouette Studio you are using will determine which file you'll have to use. If you are using the free basic version of Silhouette Studio, you will not be able to open up SVG files. But you can still customize it because you would take a PNG or JPEG image and bring it into Silhouette Studio, trace it to vectorize it because SVG just means scalable vector graphics. So you're going to turn that PNG or JPEG into a vector image so that you can go in and customize it. And I'm gonna show you how to identify both and how to do that. When you have a JPEG or PNG, if you double click on it, you're just gonna see four gray dots in each corner. That lets you know it's just an image file and you must trace it. For SVGs, when you click on those, you're going to see a bunch of different uh, edit points around it. If you don't see it because it may have come in grouped together and if you double click, you won't see it, just ungroup and then you should see it or um, see the different dots on it. But for the JPEG or PNG, you're going to go to your trace tool. Okay, I'm gonna go to the trace panel. You're gonna go select trace area and place your trace box around it. It will fill in pretty much everything with the yellow because Silhouette Studio loves to trace black. It's the easiest thing to trace. You don't have to really adjust anything once you have when you're tracing black. Then you're going to hit trace, not trace and detach, trace. Once that traces, you're gonna move this off to the side. If I were to fill this with color and remove the line color, it looks exactly like this file over here, okay? With this, you would release compound path. And let's also bring the line color back in so we can see all of the different parts. Same thing with this one. Because it's ungrouped, the mom life will be separated, but over here it was together, so you still have to release compound path. On this one, let's first add the line color and release compound path. So you're gonna see that they operate the exact same way once they are both vector images. So let's go ahead and just work with the one that we traced. Now with this one, we have the middle part of the O that is still solid. So you would have to drag and select that, right click and make that a compound path. Same thing for the hashtag. Right click and make it a compound path. For the image here at the top, we're going to select the bow, all the pieces of the bow. So you're gonna hold down shift, I'm sorry, the headband. And you're going to select all of those. If you would like, you can change that to a different color just so that you can see the difference in um, those elements. And for now, we're just gonna group that together. And we're gonna do the same thing for the sunglasses. And we're just gonna make that a different color as well. Okay. 
okay and then let's go ahead and just group that together now that those are grouped together you're going to drag and select over everything that is here okay and you're going to hold down shift click on the sunglasses and hold down shift, click on the headband. That will deselect those. Now with your mouse over the rest of the image, you're going to right click and make it a compound path. You lose, it seems like you lost the headband and the glasses, but you didn't. You just brought the main image to the forefront. You're going to right click and send to the back. Now you can customize the headband and glasses by going to your pattern and filling that in with whatever pattern you choose. If you notice here, because they are grouped together, the shapes inside, the pattern inside of here is different sizes all the way, like in each part of it. To make it where they are all the same size, you would right click and make it a compound path and then when you fill it in, it is all the same size. Same thing with the sunglasses. You would fill that in with a pattern, okay? If you want to bring in a background and have it crop down to the headband and the sunglasses, you're going to bring in either by going file merge or copy and pasting it in from like the internet or if you're purchasing a file, you would file merge it in and we're gonna send that to the back. So when it comes in, it's gonna be on the top. We're gonna right click and send it to the back. You're going to size that up to make sure that it is covering the entire area that you're going to crop it down to. And let's also make a duplicate if we're going to fill the sunglasses in with the same pattern. All right, so with this behind here, we're gonna click on the headband area, hold down shift, and click on the background. Go over to modify and choose crop All right and then group that together we're going to come and bring this down here send it to the back i'm going to zoom in click on the sunglasses hold down shift click on the background and then go up to crop and that's gonna be cropped inside. And you can do that with any background you choose. And then now that you have the mom life, if you wanted to sample any of the colors in here to make it match, or if you wanted to fill that in with the same pattern, you can definitely do that. If you have the free basic version, you would have needed another duplicate of this particular, um, of that particular background or pattern, but if you have designer edition or above, you have something that's called a properties dropper. And that's right here. And you can click on any of the elements that have that pattern and it's going to fill in your mom life. And let's go ahead and make that a compound path first um, so that it's all the same. And let's try and fill that in. Still gonna be like that. So let's go over here and go to the pattern fill and there we go change it from stretch to maintain and you can pan that around now i'm going to do a little bit more modification to this particular file over on my academy site academy.sillaholicsanonymous.com the link for that will be in the description if you want to see how to take this design to a wholly different level and do some other customizations to it, be sure to head on over there after this video and sign up 
for that session where you're going to be able to see me customize this three different ways. But if you guys enjoyed what you learned here, do be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know if you are able to accomplish this yourself. You can even visit our Facebook group, Soloholics Anonymous Silhouette Help, and drop a picture to show us what you learned from this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and also give this video a thumbs up. And visit our website, shop.soloholicsanonymous.com for other templates, submission ink, submission paper, and access to classes. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one. Peace.